Hello, and welcome to the Nature and Science Podcast for kids of all ages. This is our first episode, and I'm so excited I probably won't be able to sleep tonight. I'm Moose Jaw Matt, and I'll be your host to get this podcast started. Nature and science includes a vast range of topics to explore. Vast means many, or great. As we discover more about the variety of life we've been given, we also uncover intelligence in ways we didn't imagine was possible. Our first example is the tusk fish. The tusk fish is a member of the wrasse family. They can grow up to 20 inches long. That's about as long as the length of your parent's arm, from elbow to fingertip, unless your parent is really big or really tiny. That's a pretty big fish, though. It's obvious how this fish got its name, if you look at it. Its front teeth poke out of its mouth at an angle, looking much like tusks. There are two on the top and two on the bottom. What do you think it would use these tusks for? Think about it. When the tusk fish gets hungry, it swims to the edge of the reef. Its quest is a clam. Once found, it picks the prized clam and swims back to its workshop. This workshop is where we witness the intelligence of this surprising little fish. Finding a particular spot, used perhaps hundreds of times before, our tusk fish friend with the clam gripped in its tusks winds up and smashes the clam against the rocky point. The reason for this winding up and smashing is to get to the inside of the clam, something the tusk fish couldn't do in any other way. Until recently, fish hadn't been thought intelligent enough to do something like this, to use a tool. The tusk fish showed perseverance. Perseverance is a factor in the fish's success. Perseverance is another word for determination. It means trying to do something over and over again until you've completed it, even if it's hard. <coughs> and that's exactly what the tusk fish does. Even though it may have the intelligence to use the reef as a tool to break open the clam, it isn't always successful with the first or second or third or even fourth windup. It may take many, many attempts before breaking through. In some cases, up to 20 minutes. Imagine trying to grip something in your teeth and smashing it against a hard object to break it open and doing so for 20 minutes. Of course, the tusk fish is designed to do this, so do not try this unless you are a tusk fish. If you're a tusk fish listening, we're glad you've joined us. Nonetheless, that's a lot of tenacity. The first film of the tusk fish using a reef as a tool was reported in 2011. That's about 10 years ago. Now, however, other fish, all wrasse, are known to use the same ingenuity. Off the coast of Florida, yellow-headed wrasse smash scallops against rocks. In the Red Sea, three different species of wrasse collect sea urchins break off their spines, ouch, and split them open against a selected rock. The tusk fish were given two things by God that he has given us two. First, the tusk fish shows determination and we can too. When something becomes difficult, we can persevere and find success, even if it's in a different way than we originally thought. Second, the tusk fish is an example of ingenious design. It is not just one fish in one part of the world, but multiple wrasse fish around the world that use both their teeth and the reef in clever ways. We were designed for good works too. For some time, many people believed that only mammals or birds used tools, but that clearly isn't the whole story. Have you ever opened the last gift on Christmas? or at a birthday party and found that your parents had another gift hidden away somewhere for you? Your present opening wasn't over yet. Oh yeah! 
That's much like our world. We may think we know a lot about the life around us, but truly, we are only beginning to discover some of life's most fascinating secrets. That's why I'm so excited to share more nature and science episodes with you. Thank you for listening to our very first episode of Nature and Science for Kids. I'm Moose Jaw Matt. Until next time, keep exploring your world.